Okay, so did y'all know that on Saturday, June 6, 1931 at 9 o'clock, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley had a divine vision and revelation of the pattern, plan, and purpose of Yahweh Elohim. God in his fullness manifested in the flesh a fifth and final time. And to quote God himself, don't just take my word for it, make me prove it to you until you're satisfied, end quote. Again, God himself, Yahweh, manifested in the flesh as Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley, Saturday, June 6, 1931, to preach the true gospel so that we may have eternal life. And just to emphasize that, without God coming down in the flesh, we wouldn't know nothing about him. He gave us an inkling of the fact that there is a supreme being. We all have some type of knowledge because of God that there might be something out there. He gave us that. But it took him to spiritually die from his uh, high and lofty state as Yahweh, pure spirit that's inscrutable uh, and can't be unknown to us. You know, we, we can't know nothing about him in that state. It took him to spiritually die and take on shape and form as Elohim, the word or son. And then he spiritually died again when he came down as Joshua Messiah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. But he manifested in his fullness five times in the flesh. Adam, Oshia, the son of Nun, Joshua with Moses, and then Emmanuel, which means God is with us, which is actually, you know, his name became Joshua Messiah, who the world calls Jesus Christ after his death. And then the apostle Paul, and then finally, Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley. Without them, especially Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley, we would not even know his his true purpose, which is the birth sons, the birth children, to have offsprings that can worship him, glorify him, and honor him in spirit, because it's all him. We want to be a child, we want to be children of Yahweh, and without Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley, God himself coming in that body, we wouldn't know nothing about him to this day. We'd still be looking at Yahshua, who the world calls Jesus Christ, instead of looking at Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley because they are one and the same. Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley, Yahshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, one and the same. The self-same spirit operated in five different bodies, five different manifestations to preach the true gospel, which is eternal life now. And for those saying, well, when you say that, that means you put him over uh, Yahshua. You put him over Jesus Christ. We don't worship the man but the spirit that inhabited his body as well as Yahshua's Yahweh the Father because it's not about the man it's about the spirit that's inside the man Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley God himself said that if you knew Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley if, if you knew Henry Clifford Kinley before June 6 1931 that was that but you don't know him now when June 6 1931 happened at nine o'clock in the morning, Henry Clifford Kinley was no more. He was no more. He left the building and God took residence in that body. And to show forth that, listen to this. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. God made flesh explain Viva IDMR, the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. See, Yahweh in his fullness manifested five times in the flesh, similar to how a strain of DNA can stretch to six feet tall in reality, but is compressed to an inch just to compensate for the makeup of our body. The Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. That self-same spirit manifested as Adam, pinky finger, Oshia, the son of Nun, Joshua with Moses, ring finger, and 2,000 years ago as Elohim, aka Yahshua, who the world calls Jesus Christ, middle finger, and Apostle Paul, index finger, and lastly, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley, thumb. I am with you all way, even until the end of this age. Matthew 28, 20, not all ways, but all the way into the next age, which is close. Each manifestation was for a set period of time. Same spirit of God in his fullness, just different manifestations. Excerpt from Dr. Kenley, lecture on faith. Dr. Kenley, they got some kind of crisis, some kind of complaint, some kind of idle thought. 
The devil saying, the devil makes me mistreat somebody, as Paul said, when I would do good, evil is present. He's talking about him in his physical and carnal state. Somebody said, well, you can't say I ain't trying. How's that? Said, I'm certainly am trying to overcome. I'm working hard with it. The harder you work with it, the worse off it's going to be. Why don't you just stop and have some faith in God? You will never make it over yourself. What I'm telling you is, it's Christ that died. Now God promised to bless you if you believe. You can't overcome. It takes the overcomer in you to bring you over. The devil got you hogtied. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Quit wrestling. Just give up. Somebody say, well, I'm trying. Stop trying. Long as you're trying, what are you doing? Say, well, I'm trying my best to live a Christian life. Well, you can't make it. The only way to tell you about it, Roger, I tell you so you can understand it. Now, God promised to make you an overcomer or promise to bless you if you just believe as he said to the disciples be of good cheer cheer up i'm getting ready to overcome student body no dr kenley no he already overcome he hadn't died either he overcome in his conscience in his mind he's already conscious of it so when you have faith in god believe that he will bless you you quit trying what the people are really doing rather than trying to what they think they're doing they're trying to live in such a way that won't nobody have nothing disrespectful to say about them. Ain't that right? I want everybody in the community to think I'm a good fella. Well, I'm telling you now, you ain't no good. If anybody in the community thinks you are, then they, the only reason why they think you are something good is because they ain't no good theirself. And somebody always talking about me said, yeah, I know Henry C. Kenley. Said, I know all his folks. They said the same thing about Jesus. Said, I know his daddy. That's George said he was a half old age drunken now George is like that she ain't no good talking about trying to throw up on me well look my old man your old man and you and all your grandkids all your relatives run them back far enough to Adam none of them ain't no good quit talking about yourself when you're talking about me like that you're talking about yourself but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised, hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, that, according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. So the father, he comes in three stages. He's pure spirit, which is Yahweh, which is incomprehensible slash invisible. You can't perceive that. And then he comes down as Elohim, which is the word or son, which is a super incorporeal form that can only be seen through divine visions like Moses on Mount Sinai and divine revelations like John the Revelator on the island of Patmos and all the other prophets as well. But see, the general public can see that. So then you get Jesus, which is Yahshua and Messiah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Actually, it was Emmanuel. God is with us when he was born. But just go on my page and you can check that all out. So he came down as Yahshua and Messiah. So the whole world can see him. And yet they still didn't know him. But he willingly died for the world because it was for our sins. Like that's uh, that that God is powerful. God, he is so powerful. And he's so loving that he would die for the world so he can bear our sins. So it wasn't like we just had the power to kill God. It was the fact that he willingly died to give us life, eternal life. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to know that our Heavenly Father would do something like that because, shoot, you leave it up to us. Then we wouldn't have eternal life. But here we are serving a mighty ale who will lay down his life so that we can have eternal life now.